Yo, what's good guys, it's your boy Tim back again and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually connect your blogger site to Cloudflare, okay? Normally, whenever I start my video, I start by showing you guys proof of my AdSense account and how it's going, alright? I remember in my last video, I promised to drop a free course on how to do AdSense arbitrage, okay? The course is going to cover how you can actually create your site from scratch and how you can actually apply for AdSense and set it up, optimize it very, very well before you start your arbitrage okay then for the traffic source and revenue generation i still have a paid cost for that you can actually hit me up on, on whatsapp i'm going to guide you guys through that so with that being said i know you might be asking what is the advantage of connecting your site to cloudflare okay so let me guide you guys through that all right so if you take a look at this popular site shout me loud okay they said connecting your site to cloudflare will actually help um to stop brute force attacks and hacking attempts all right the second one it will help um by changing your hosting no need to wait for propagation free cdn and a lot of other advantages it also saves your server bandwidth and also it makes your site to load faster all right so with that being said let me quickly guide you guys through how you can actually set it up for your own blogger site so with that being said please make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel all right let's get started immediately so for you to get started go ahead and type in cloudflare all right okay so go ahead and search for it all right so if you click on it the first one cloudflare.com okay for you to do arbitrage i'll advise you to connect your site to cloudflare because it will actually help for your site to load faster that's one mistake that people actually make they will start doing arbitrage with a site that is not loading fast enough all right your site should be able to load within three to five seconds or someone clicking your link okay by so doing it will reduce the bounce rate and the user will get whatever he's looking for on your site so after that click on sign up so if you click on sign up allow you to load so go ahead and put your email and the password and after that click on create account okay if you click on that it's going to bring you to the home page okay the home page is going to be looking like um it's going to be looking like this all right so i'm going to walk you guys through how you can actually connect a site when you get to this page all right so click on add a site if you click on that it's going to bring you to a place where you get to add the site all right now this video is specifically for blogger sites i'm going to do a separate video on how you can actually connect your wordpress site to um cloudflare all right so let's say your site is um dot team tv all right dot com okay just go ahead and click on add site and make sure that it's also a blogger site okay this is not a registered domain i haven't registered it so let's say um dot com dot ng because i think i have that registered so don't think tv dot com dot ng all right now there are a lot of paid services they have pro business and enterprise all right but i would advise you go with the free one because it actually gives you what you want all right but then if you want to advance or you're running probably a very very big brand you can then go for the paid services that they offer all right so but in case you're running on low budget you can actually go with the free service so go ahead and select it and get started so a quick scan allow you to scan so after that you can see add more dns records for .tv.com.ng and project traffic for a e e e c name blah 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 all the same so i don't recommend having a lot of records i only recommend having c names and that's it because just go ahead and click on this click on the records and select c name and here you go ahead and put the name of your site with the domain extension so let's say don't team tv.com.ng all right so here go ahead and put ghs.google.com okay okay so, so um let me correct something immediately go ahead and put www first add this one first okay then save it all right um wait for it to save okay they said this one is pending state content project records blah 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 blah, blah ignore that and go ahead and put another one add record all right see name let's go ahead and put the name of the domain and on team tv.com.ng all right so come here and put the same um target and um, ghs.com right so that is basically it go ahead and save it and that is basically it. okay now let me explain something real quick this scene we're having here let's go over to blog and check something all right 
so let's scroll down to where we have custom domain so if you come over to where we have custom domain click on it and let's say we want to customize it www.examexpose.com all right okay so if you click on it the one is going to pop up and that one is going to provide you with two c names all right so these are the two records that we have on blogger all right so there is no need having a records a, a, a records and the rest of the records txt and all that so that's the reason why we actually have the two records c name all right so that is the reason why i don't have or why i don't um enable other records like um um what's it called a, 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 a and the rest of the records like if you don't understand what i'm trying to say i mean like having all these records available all right i mean the a a a a c a a c e r o t and the rest of the records all right so on blogger you only have to record c names and that is it all right so it will take some time for the whole thing to propagate properly okay so once you're done with imputing your c name and everything you'll be provided with this custom um name server dns all right so it's specifically for the domain you connected now head over to your domain provider wherever you registered your domain okay once you get there i'm going to use this particular site as example because this site is actually um hosted on blogger all right so go ahead and click on manage okay so this is almost the same thing basically for all the name servers i'm mean, sorry all the domain registrars that i've actually partnered with okay once you click on it it's going to bring you to a page where you have the dns um settings and name server settings and all that all right so what you have to do is to click on this and then click on custom dns all right if you click on custom dns you provide it with two spaces where you can impute your dns you can't have only one you can only have two all right so go ahead and copy the first one copy if you copy that go ahead and impute it here all right copy the second one copy and go ahead and input it here and after that mark this good all right that's if you are using name server sorry that's if you are using that's if you are using name chip you use another domain provider they will have their own way of saving it all right once you're done with that go ahead and click on this it takes some minutes before it propagates properly and after that your site is secured by cloudflare all right that's basically how to connect your site to cloudflare all right very very simple go ahead and give this video a like if you like the video and make sure you subscribe and then if you have any question or any idea you want me to do a video on go ahead and drop the comment below and like i promised you guys i'm still going to drop a video on how to actually set up your site properly for your adsense arbitrage all right so um if you need the paid course hit me up on instagram my number is still going to be there hit me, hit me up all right so even as i'm doing the video our stuff is still printing all right our adsense is printing pounds all right so this is the only account i'll be using for my videos remember i have several other accounts all right but this is the one i will be using for my videos so with that being said i'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video please be new remember to subscribe like this video and comment see you guys in my next video stay safe and peace out